Now, the Registrar of Political Parties, Lucy Ndungu, has supported the controversial electoral laws amendment bills being pushed through by the Jubilee Party. She says Parliament has the right to legislate and should do so. She says the office will continue to engage political players on issues ahead of the poll. She has urged parties organizing protests to ensure they conform to the set laws. As an office, I think I stated my position that there are extraordinary times and they call for extraordinary actions. And more so, if you must implement the ruling of the Supreme Court as was given. And if we do it the way we were doing it, it can bring issues in future. So my, my position as a registrar is that parliament has the power to carry out its constitutional mandate all the time. Yeah, all the time. And this is not the first time we are passing laws close to an election. In 2012, 2013, we did pass laws in December and election was held. Parliament itself also addressed itself in January and we held, it passed laws also close to election. Even judiciary passed uh, certain judgments which affected the process of, of, of elections, close to elections. and. They had the mandate to do so. The same happens to, 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 to affect parliament. They must do what they have to do. And it is in your wisdom to pass the laws if you think they are prudent. On the issue of uh, political temperatures, we have tried as political parties as on committee to try to address the temperatures. But as you are aware, both Jubri and NASA, they rarely attend those meetings called by political party liaison committee. They have not attended our meetings as we, we had envisaged, but we will continue. We will continue calling upon them to attend our meetings and dialogue as expected under the section 38 of the Political Parties Act, whereby if there is an issue on election, IBC, ORPP, political parties should come together in dialogue. They have not attended our meetings as we expected, but we'll continue doing so. In fact, as an office, we have organized caravan, caravan road shows to, to transverse Kenya in, uh, next week. We are not so sure how it will happen now that there are demonstrations every day, but political party liaison committee are doing the, all what they can to try and mitigate the political temperatures. Uh, however, we all know that elections are emotives and political temperatures must always go high during elections. It's up to us as Kenyans to try and cool the temperatures using all means possible. So it's not, it's normal when there's a contest that political temperatures should go high. On the issues of demonstration, I will still stand by the Constitution and say that it is the right of every political party to, 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 to carry out its political activities under the Constitution and do what it can to express its views. The, my only request is that political parties should follow the Constitution, the Political Parties Act, and, uh, and adhere to the Code of Conduct, that there should be no violence, there should be no intimidation, and they should continue carrying out their political activities following the law and obey each and every institution's request. Thank you very much. Thank you, Registrar. Um, just to add on what my colleagues uh, have asked, yesterday we had a ruling. On the day before yesterday, we had somebody withdrawing from the rest. I know you are an institution that has a stake in this because uh, uh, of course, that will change the position of uh, what has currently been planned for, or maybe you think maybe we, we still have to, to be on the same track. What is your position in the happenings uh, regarding the ruling and the withdrawal of the, of the other candidates? Do we have to proceed with the election, or what is your position as a registrar of political parties? Thank you, Chair. Uh, withdraw is a constitutional right, as stated by the ruling, Article 38. And uh, we had no, it is not a, the first time that candidates have withdrawn from an election. We had that situation in Gatundu by election. And the commission then 
uh, did cancel the election, or rather no polling took place, and this was castigated from all corners, including our offices. We were told that that is not the right thing. The, the people should express their will. Following that, IBC came up with the regulations, and I think you have seen them in the social media, where it is stated that you can only uh, withdraw from uh, a poll three days after nomination. However, uh, we must know that this is a fresh elections where nominations were outlined by the 2013 elections that only those who participated, that is the view that IBC took, only those who participated in the petition will proceed. So nominations as we know them did not take place, but IBC did gazette candidates.